Hey, what's happening, everybody? Uh, this is Eric. Um, some of you know me from Deluxe Fab, and uh, some of you don't know me. So, what's up to those that I uh, know, and uh, nice to meet you to the ones I don't. Um, kind of been on a little hiatus from Facebook for almost a couple years now after selling Deluxe. Um, just a lot of stuff going on. You guys know how it goes with all the COVID stuff and just life in general is kind of kind of went crazy uh last three years so anyway happy new year uh happy 2023 uh i'm ready to go with this new business satisfied incorporated um uh, pretty much going to be focusing on uh classic bmw parts and uh just working on them and i would really like to help people out um you know like with machining or uh you know, sometimes people get stuck in jams and they need a custom part or they need someone to work on things um, and nobody wants to help them. That's where I would really like to come in because uh, I know how that goes. You know, you go to a machine shop and you're like, hey, will you machine this simple part for me? They're like, oh, yeah, it's small time stuff, thousand bucks. And it's like, come on, man. So I hope staying small, being small business, uh, I can take on people like that and I can I can provide uh, provide a a quality custom service for for not too much money um, and I hope that really helps out some of the you know classic car community guys and BMW guys um, so that that's the plan uh, that's what we're gonna go forward doing um, and I guess where I'm gonna start out is I'm gonna start out uh, finishing one of my last personal cars uh, I got this gold uh, 1979 BMW e12 528i uh, Picked this thing up off uh, Bring a Trailer a couple months ago. So I'm going to get this thing uh, to a position that is uh, to my standards, which means um, for this car, it would be like Euro bumpers, uh, put it on air suspension, um, mess with the interior a little bit. I got a crack-free dashboard. Um, I mean, it's, it's not really like going to be a build. You know, it's going to be like um, just getting it to be where I want to be. Um, so th this, this car's in pretty good shape, uh, pretty excited to work on it. I've been waiting for an E12 because I've got, uh, anybody who follows me, I've got my, my E21, E23, E24. So I've got all my first BMW series, except for this, this E12. Um, so this is, this is kind of like the final piece and, uh, I'm excited to get it going. And then, uh, I'll have all my cars pretty situated. They're not going to be done, but, uh, I'll be in a position where I'll start working on other people's stuff and enjoy my car at the same time. Um, the only thing I've done to this car so far is I put these style 19s on there, kind of see how they look. Uh, they look way better. If you, if you know what, uh, what I bought this car, the car had like some, I don't know, some weirdo wheels that made it look horrible. Um, so these wheels make it look way better. I, I don't know that I'm going to keep these on. Um, I'll probably roll with some style fives, but, uh, so anyway, I kind of wanted to talk about something that has sat dear to me for quite a while um for years decades i've been like just screaming about this and uh people have always called me crazy or uptight or whatever but uh we're in the middle of what i was afraid it was going to happen and I, I don't know it's i just want to talk about it in a different sense though too um i've always talked about like being honest in morals and values and uh it's kind of slipped over the years into um, just greed and, and dishonest. And, you know, the, the story I often tell is like, I used to sell things. I used to sell everything on Craigslist because, you know, I was trying to survive. Um, and you used to be able to sell something on Craigslist. Somebody would say, I'd come pick it up and hold it for me. Said, sure. No problem. I'll hold it for you. See you at five. And then I remember the first time somebody told me that and I said, I'll hold it for you. And then they didn't show up. And it was like, after that happened, it was just constant. Like you couldn't trust people anymore. You know, like I don't feel that old, but I was say back in the day, it used to be a handshake. You used to shake somebody's hand or you used to give somebody your word. And that was that, that was it. And you know, you felt like a giant piece of crap if you didn't do what you said. Well, you know, those days are over. I mean, that was, that was a decade and some ago that anybody even thought about that kind of stuff. But anyway, it's the reason, there's a couple of reasons I want to talk about that. And one reason is because I don't, I, I think it's dealing with everything. 
but it's also dealing with these these old cars you know i think i'm up to probably like 80 or 90 percent of all the parts i buy or cars i buy they're misleading or people are lying or they're, they're just something sketchy with like every transaction you do when you buy these cars so this car is a good example right like I've, I've tried to buy cars that are out of state before sight unseen and they show up and it's like what are you talking about like this one guy told me I was looking for an E21 he said it was flawless there's a seat wasn't even bolted down like like the car didn't even make it around the block without overheating and it's like it's just flawless right that's what the guy told me so learned a lesson you don't buy a car sight unseen um I, I thought i could make an exception on this bring a trailer car i thought they would have to disclose everything that they would know is wrong with it so anyway i bought this car bring a trailer and it, i'm not going to run you through all the details it was it was just the dude knew he wasn't being honest um there's a lot of small things to fix, which is fine because that's what I do. And it's an old car and I get that. But when you're doing things, let me, let me show you. Like when you're doing things like, I don't know if you can tell, but like in this engine bay, they decided to spray paint all the hoses and stuff. Let's see if I can get a shot of this. I mean, oh, I can't run the camera your hoses are spray painted like my hose clamps are spray painted and like dude you're misleading somebody when you're spray painting hoses and uh, you know you're trying to make it look new it said in my ad that the battery was new it's just spray painted they spray painted the fucking battery told me there was a new battery it's not that i can't fix this stuff it's like why are you lying to me that's the problem Everybody's lying. The whole world's lying now. And it's to make a couple bucks. And that's gross. So, there's a couple problems with this car that weren't disclosed. And that frustrates me. It, it really does. And, you know, the problem is I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have bought a car that wasn't local. But the problem is, is you, you even buy a local car? You, I mean, you better go through that thing with a fine-tooth comb. Because you show up and buy a local car, you're going to miss details. It just, you don't see everything. Anyway, the point is, is it drives me crazy that people have this mentality. And I, I get it because dude wanted to make a couple thousand bucks extra by being misleading. But the thing that people aren't getting is that if you are dishonest like that, you can make a thousand, two thousand dollars short term, but in the long term, you are making less money. And people are either too greedy or too stupid to get that. But listen to me, like this guy sells this car and he makes an extra thousand, two thousand bucks. But what if I have a problem? Well, I do have a problem, but I'm not going to go through bring a trailer. Maybe I should, but maybe I should go and bring a trailer. I should say, hey, there's some obvious shit that this guy knew about. I mean, the, the car doesn't even actually run right. It, 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 I'm not gonna go into it. It doesn't even run right. He knew that. It runs like shit. So if I go through bring a trailer and I'm like, hey dude, the car didn't even run right, he's gotta fix that now. Maybe his, his couple thousand dollars that he made on this is now gone. What if I lived in New York City and this guy's in California and now he's gotta pay to transport it back and forth because I don't even want it because he lied to me about it. This is my point, is by being greedy and selfish and trying to make a couple thousand bucks here and there, he, he's going to get away with it this time because I'm going to deal with it. It's just easier for me to like deal with it that way. But if you run into somebody, you, they could take your money. They could take the money back. Like, you know, you didn't make extra money. So you got to think this through. There's no reason to be deceptive about this shit. The other thing is if I went on Bring a Trailer, he's, he's, an, he's an auto dealer. If I, go on auto, if I go on this Bring a Trailer and I'm like, hey, this dude's scamming. All these extra cars that he's selling, now his reputation sucks. And here's the fucking key. Your reputation and your word is everything. And people have forgotten this. Okay? So if I, if I go on there and say, hey, this dude lied to me, his reputation sucks. And people aren't going to pay as much for his cars. So how much did you make by lying about this car? How much extra? 
you lost money. Think about that. And this isn't just for cars. This goes for everything in life. This is why you be honest and you, you live by your word and you do what you say. You know, we all make mistakes and I get that, but you don't lie to people straight to their face. Does that make sense? So I'm not trying to change the world. I think the world's fucked. I think we're gone. I think there's, there's, we're, we're way too far gone for this. But I guess I'm just trying to reach out to like the one dude that wants to listen, the one dude that like wants to change his life, the one dude that wants to be successful. Being honest and not making as much on a deal, that's how you be successful and that's how you make more money. If you can't get that through your head, then that's your deal. But I'm trying to, I'm trying to tell you guys, that's how, is you make it so people trust you, what you're doing and what you're saying matches up. People learn that shit about you. Okay, so take that for what it's worth, man. You know, keep scamming people if you want, keep lying to people if you want, do whatever you want. Uh, but that's just my two cents. And not only do I think it's important because I'm gonna start working on this car, and I just wanna talk about it as a way to like, say, hey, what's up everybody? I'm, I'm in fucking business, this is what we're doing. But I also wanna let you guys know that when you do business with me, I'll be as straight up as possible. That doesn't mean I'm not going to make mistakes. That doesn't mean I'm going to, like, there's not going to be any problems with anybody. But I will be honest about it. Like, I'm not going to, like, paint your hoses and your hose clamps and shit and hope you don't notice. Okay? If I make a mistake, I'll own up to it. And my, my word is good. And I've already dealt with a couple BMW people that have, like, inquired about, like, having me do stuff. And the thing is, is, like, we're all, we're all messed up with scammers and stuff, right? Nobody trusts anybody on the net. You can't even buy stuff anymore because you don't know if the guy's straight up lying to you even about having the parts. So people are skeptical about doing business with me because they don't know who I am. Okay. And they don't know who, they don't know what deluxe fab was. They don't know my history. So I don't think this is a reason to trust me is because I'm making this video, but my, my name will get around in the BMW community and people will work with me and they will see that I'm honest with them and I'm fair with them. And you know, for the first couple of people that do trust me with that, I, I appreciate that. But it, it is it is very important to me that you trust me Mo way more than making money. Money doesn't mean anything when you're a giant piece of shit that's lying and greedy. But you have a couple bucks in your pocket. That don't mean shit. I'd rather be broke, and I'd rather have people trust me and consider me a good person. You know what I mean? Because you can't buy that. So anyway, I just wanted to pass that on. Um, you know, hopefully somebody can take something from that. Like I said, I just want to say what's up. How's it going? What's up? Um, super stoked to get worked on this car. I've been, uh, working on my house, doing remodels, working with wood, doing a bunch of crap that I don't really want to do. <laughs> I'm trying to be an adult. Um, so man, I'm super excited to start working on cars and, uh, start dealing with y'all and it'll be fun. Hopefully, uh, I've, I've got a list of products that I want to make for all the early cars and, you know, I, I'm, I'm super excited to like help people out with their projects too. Uh, I know a lot of people get stuck because they can't find a part or they can't find a way to do things. So I, I'm, I can't wait to help and I think it'll be fun. So I'm excited. Hope you guys are excited. Um, I'll see you on the net. Thanks for listening to this long drawn out uptight old guy blabber about fucking values that don't fucking matter, I guess. So, all right, man. Have a good one. Happy New Year. Thank <laughs> you.